Did you know every year in Sicily there's an ice cream festival where hundreds of the best ice cream makers from all over the world compete to win the best flavor award? And today we're about to visit Don Peppino, an artisan gelato shop from Sicily that had two of his flavors awarded and we will try them both. Unlike me, Jay's really not into dessert, so I'm curious to see if the best ice cream in the whole of Sicily can care to change her mind. Okay, so I'm really excited because... Are you excited? Yeah. I am excited. <laughs> because we are gonna go for an ice cream, but not for any ice cream. Every year in Palermo, there's an international gelato festival slash championship. These guys won two prizes there for two different tastes that we're gonna try. Today, I'm going all out and I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in probably eight years, which is not just get a normal gelato, but get a brioche congelato and you're gonna see what that is in a few minutes <laughs> let's go oh look at that queue guess what they're queuing for they have the awards there come right here so they won several awards for best granita best ice cream in the world best ice cream in this in sicily territory allora il cono è mandorla e stracciato di cocco Wow, that was a huge queue. Time to see if the ice cream is worth the hype. With these ice creams from Don Pepino is that they're all about territory. They all use ingredients from the territory. They use the pistachio from Bronte, the chocolate from Modiga, the almond from Avola and so on. Even the actual brioche and the, the cone itself. Unlike most ice cream places, they have their own lab and their own bakery where they uh, make this. So every part of the process of making this ice cream is done by them and ha very handmade and traditional way. Now let's try them. I got the brioche, which is this fluffy bread. See? Um, and in Sicily, we do this, we stuff them with ice cream and we have to ice cream taste. Hmm. Two different ice cream tastes. One is the kumia, which is almond from Avola, a typical um, almond from here, a very delicious type of almond here, mixed with chocolate of Modica. We're gonna make a video about Modica chocolate because it's a very special type of chocolate as well. Mm. Mm. Well, wow. it's really, really good. And then I got salty peanuts, caramel and cream, which is also very delicious. And it's very crunchy because you can feel the, the salty peanuts. Mm. Mm, it's really, really yummy. Mm. I really like it. Now it's time for my favorite part to look at the brioche. It's full of ice cream. It's oozing ice cream. And at this stage, you just have to... Mm. Yeah, it's so good. It's very naughty. I'm not gonna have dinner tonight, but totally worth it. Mm. Amazing. Yeah, that's not surprising. What about our toughest critic? Did she like it? It's very coconutty, but it's really sweet. Um, yeah, it's it's too sweet. I can't really say I like it. How about the almond? But, the almond is the one that won the prize. I think is the almond like prize worth it? It tastes like toasted almond, but also I think just the sugar is killing the flavor. I, it's just sweetness in my mouth like I can't really what's a tough one like it's, it's I, I think it's um overkill with the sugar but again this is my personal opinion apparently it's very popular so so for me it was delicious I love the modiga chocolate and almond 
taste I got and the Mr. Peanut was delicious because you had the crunchy salty peanut contrast in the, in the ice cream. It's a very, very good idea. Um, I also tried Jay's ice cream and was, I loved the almond, like you can really taste the almonds and the coconut. But Jay's verdict might be a little bit different. <laughs> nah, not for me. <laughs> not for me. That's it. Jay didn't like the best ice cream. Allegedly best not ice the cream. Best on my book. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite ice cream ever so far? Uh, <laughs> it's the one in Tenerife, the coconut flavor. It was not so sweet. It was really good. It's coconutty and not so sweet. All right. So for Jay, the best ice cream is not in. It's not the winner of the best ice cream in Italy. But in Tenerife, I'll accept it as a proud Italian. I'll take the blow and try again another time to get Jay to like more Italian stuff. Subscribe because on our next adventure we will show you a true hidden gem in Sicily, teach you how to source the best ingredients and cook an amazing pasta like a true local.